Welcome to my YouTube channel. We will be discussing procedure for ethical clearance. In the University of Port Harcourt, graduate students and staff who want to conduct research are expected to make some submissions to the University Research Ethics Committee. What is expected from the candidates? Submit three hard copies of the synopsis of their research work in soft cover binding to the Research Ethics Committee. This is applicable to MSc dissertation and PhD thesis. It is also applicable to research uh, works from staff. The committee evaluates the submissions based on the following criteria. We want to know whether there is a scientific basis for initiating this study. And then we need to understand whether the research is of national priority in terms of the coverage. Then the relevance of the research in meeting the needs of the community on that study. There is need to look at inclusion of vulnerable or special subjects in the research. This may include minors, prisoners, uh, those that are mentally handicapped, and so on and so forth. If such is applicable, is it possible to answer the same research question if the special or vulnerable group is excluded from the study? If yes, does the protocol include adequate measures to ensure the population is well protected? This is the essence of the uh, research ethics uh, uh, committee, trying to protect humans that are uh, involved in the research. Now, the study presents, one, whether there's no risk, two, whether there's minimal risk, whether there's more than minimal risk, or whether there's high risk. So we'll check, based on what uh, you have submitted, we we'll want to know whether there's no risk at all. If there's no risk, we'll ask you to proceed. If there's minimal risk, we'll advise you. If there's more than minimal risk, then we we'll need to come in there. If there's very high risk, they will ask you not to proceed on such a study. We need to advise you further and direct you on what to do. Now, the aspect, on the aspect of the proposal, are the objectives clear and achievable? The literature review, is it of national, international, and, and local interest? Is it, is it widespread enough? Then appropriateness of the study design. The study you are trying to carry out, how appropriate is it? How appropriate is the methodology? How appropriate are the procedures and the materials that you are trying to use? Um, then the statistical considerations. We want to know whether you are using the uh, appropriate statistics, the data analysis, is it well coordinated? Then the study population, is it adequate? Is it appropriate enough? Then selection and recruitment procedures, how fair is it? Incentives to participants, is it appropriate? Is it non-coercive? Because people should be voluntarily willing to want to go on with your work or not. Then consent form, there is need for, as long as you are involving humans, there is need to make consent forms available. You need to, they need to give you their consent. Then the process for assuring that the consent is voluntary also. You need to you know, reel out the steps for us to appreciate it at the committee level. Then privacy and confidentiality must be upheld as much as possible. You need to reassure respondents, human participants particularly, th that their confidentiality will be protected. Then the research instruments being used, are they the appropriate one? What are the risks? What are the benefits? Based on these recommendations from the evaluation, uh, if there's any need for modif modification, the candidate is expected to effect the corrections and then return to the committee as soon as possible. Upon approval, however, a clearance certificate is made available to the candidate. Now let's look at something else. Um, the document that will be submitted can always be gotten from the university website www.uniport.edu.ng It takes you to this website. This is the university website. You scroll down. Scroll down until you see the blue background. There are four columns in this area. You have the quick link, quick links, you have explore, online portals, stakeholders web link. Look at the second column bearing the title explore and scroll down to the bottom of that column and look out for research proposals by ethic committee. 
research proposals by ethic committee click on it it redirects you to the research proposals by ethic committee landing page and look out for click here for format submission of research proposals for review by the Uniport Research Ethics Committee. So just click on it. It's a Microsoft document. It's downloading onto my system. We expect you to download it onto your system. And when it is done downloading, you open it. So this is a document. This is a document begin to fill it up. You fill up the documents. Now this is a format submission of research proposals for review by the Uniport Research Ethics Committee. So scroll down to the first page. Section A is on general information. You have the title of your research which should not be more than 15, between 15 and 17 words maximum. And your supervisor will fill in his details or details. The researcher will fill in the details. You the candidates then the head of department or institute or director of the institute, um, dean of the school, or dean of the uh, dean of the school or director of the center who fill in his details. You complete all these details. Section B, you have the summary of the proposed research. Now this is the main work. The first part of this section requires you to write a brief literature review relating to the title of the study. This should not be more than 1,000 words. Please stick to the maximum limits specified. Introduction, the section should not be more than 100 words. And please, because this involves literature review, there is need to include uh, proper citations. So there's need to cite references accordingly. Then the B part of it is the rationale or justification of the study. So you give reasons why you are carrying out this study. Again, this should not be more than 200 words. Aim and objectives. We use aim and objectives. So the aim is the general ob objective or the goal, whereas the objectives are the specific objectives that you list out. And um, that should not be more than 500 words. Then you go to the method section, which describes the method you will be, the method you will use in carrying out your study. And this should not be more than 1,000 words. The, second, the fourth section is uh, on, the, on the methods, yes, I need to go back here. On the methods section, uh, in the methods section, you, you need to attach a copy of all your questionnaires, a copy of um, a sample interview guide. You know, it's very important that the instruments are attached here. You need to attach uh, those to these uh, submissions you are making because the committee will want to see all of these and ensure that you have followed the due protocol. Then section four is participants informants or data subjects. So you describe the participants you want to recruit, list the inclusion and exclusion criteria. This is very, very important. You need to include, you list all of this and the maximum should be 200 words. Then data analysis, you describe the data analysis including both descriptive and inferential as applicable. This should not be more than 200 words. You also describe the benefits and the risks of the research to the study population and its relevance to the discipline not more than 200 words. Then on the seventh section, you have um, consent process. Attach the information letter, attach the consent form, information letter, or the letter of, info from, or letter of um, introduction, for instance, will be gotten from the head of department, the project supervisor, or the dean or director of the institute or center. Then Will the information be treated as confidential? You need to specify here whether it's yes or no. And then the last section is the list of all references cited. For the purpose of this synopsis, you know, this is just a three page document. At most, when you fill them up, it should be more than five to six, seven pages at most. So we don't expect you to list out all the references as contained in your thesis or in your dissertation. We just want to have an idea that you are doing the needful. And um, if this is done, Three copies of this document will be printed out and bound in the soft cover binding and submitted to the Research Ethics Committee. And then this will be reviewed and upon approval, a, 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 an ethical clearance will be given to the candidates before you now proceed to the field. There is need to note that this must be done before you go to the field so that you will not run into any form of uh, discomfort.